Hi all, I have an absolutely fascinating game to show you today, which features maybe a kind of opening trap, seemingly too deep for the mighty stockfish in TSAC season 18 at least. Let's have a look at this game. So you might recall in the previous video, the mega boom video, you might want to check that out. The opening set moves is E4, we have the Nimzovich defense, knight C6, but here, Leela is playing with the white pieces against Stockfish. Knight f3, d6, d4. Bishop g4, this is the end of the book. And if you recall, Stockfish played the move c3 here. Leela has a very, very different idea. d5, and after knight e5, guess what Leela plays in this position if I give you 10 seconds to pause the video for 500 points. White play here, what would you play? Okay, Leela plays, knight takes e5, yes, offering the queen a queen sacrifice. We have bishop takes d1, and the point is bishop b5 check. This is very awkward for black. We have c6, otherwise queen d7 is just losing material. Taking uh, is very bad for black, and there's also knight takes f7 after. So c6, d takes, delaying the kind of recapture of the queen because c7 check is now threatened. We have a6. You might wonder what about queen a5 check here? White well, just has knight c3 and if a6, there's a key move in this position actually. Can you guess? Okay, the key move is b4 to nudge the queen away from the a file. So after queen takes, knight takes, this is just much better for white. This position here is better for white. Maybe it's one of these possessions which Stockfish didn't really uh, consider that that bad for black. But the thing is, white has past pawn potential here uh, on the queen side. You know, a temporary pawn satellite C4, we have A4 and two connected past pawns. Uh, for example, as, as, as an example, you can imagine two connected past pawns sometimes. So for whatever reason, something has been rejected around here. In this variation of the queen a5 check, knight c3, a6, if b4 isn't played, if c, if c takes is played instead, the snag is a takes, b5 protects the rook. So this position is much better for black. So Let's have a look now at the game again. So a6 is played in the game, not queen a5 check. Now c7, so white is getting back the queen with interest after c takes d for the investment, the initial investment. Rook takes d8. If king takes d8, then simply knight takes f7 check and then knight takes here with a big advantage. So rook takes d8 and now a desperado tactic Knight takes f7 to win a pawn, forking both rooks. King takes, king takes d1. So at the end of this kind of virtual opening trap, seemingly too deep for, for Stockfish to to use, but Leela has used it. White's definitely uh, looking a lot better here. Structurally, these pawns look a bit of a wreck. White is a pawn up. You'll notice three, four, five, six, whilst White has five six seven they both have the same colored bishop you know knight and bishop each knight f6 is played rook e1 e6 we have c3 this looks very very logical to fix the b5 pawn with b4 later and maybe a4 later after that d5 e5 knight d7 and now b4 and that rules out the use of c5 for a moment as well we have knight b8 now king c2 Knight c6, and the king actually goes to b3. It's a good position for white. Maybe even a4 is good. You know, for example, like this. This looks perfectly nice for white as well, with an advantage. So we have uh, king b3, d4, a3. Yeah, white does, does seem to be just a pawn up here. Okay, black's getting a little bit of peace activity. Bishop b2, we have g5. 
If D takes C3, this just means that after knight takes, B5 is under immediate scrutiny. The check is mostly harmless here. Rook ED1, Rook D7, for example, like this. Knight takes B5 is using the pin, so black can't easily double the rooks with Rook D7. So what does black do? If Rook HF8 instead, Knight E4, there's no real issues for white, it seems. White's getting a nice advantage. If Knight takes, then Rook G1 is a backfire on G7. So if that can't be taken, it's pretty miserable for black here. So yeah, uh, we have um, G5 just ignoring this possibility. So C takes D4, King G6. So at the moment, you know, that positional kind of pawn sack that Stockfish has played, it's now two pawns down. Not a good outcome from the, o from the opening. If knight takes d4, you might ask, bishop takes, rook takes, knight c3 hits b5. And this kind of scenario is just very, very favorable for white, as you can imagine and see. So king g6, knight d2. White doesn't mind losing e4 here. It simplifies g4. Again, if we just check it out for a moment, if there's any difference. The thing is, the knight can swing to f3 here. And this is just very, very nice for white. You can see after knight d4, in fact, e6 and b5 are hit simultaneously. So very, very pleasant stuff for white. There's a spike check, but this is just very, very nice for white. So um, we have g4. Saltfish is definitely on the back foot of this kind of, you could say, opening trap. So f4 here, g takes, knight takes, knight e7. Yeah. Stockfish is two pawns down, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Bishop c1, why not simplify? Brook goes back here. Bishop takes h6. Simplification is the recipe usually when you're a pawn up. Leader is uh, spicing things up, returning one of the pawns, but getting this very mighty looking rook f1 now. h4, rook f3. King h5. We have knight c5. Yeah, forking two pawns again with that knight. Uh, so, not again, but forking two pawns. Knight f4. Rook e f2. b6. Uh, here, if knight d3, there's no knight d3. The knight's covering d3. So, uh, we have b6. Knight b3, but now knight d3 check is, is possible there. But the thing is, king c3. Knight takes, knight takes. It's just simplification for white. And again, hitting two pawns. We have knight e4 check, king d3, knight g5. Rook f4. Okay, the knight's holding e6 for a moment. Rook d8, pinning against, you know, knight takes b5. King e3, unpinning, renewing, knight takes b5. Uh, we have uh, rook c8. And in fact, here, knight e2 is played. Knight takes b5 seems actually plausible. It wasn't a major trap or anything. This this looks okay as well for white. But knight e2 is preferred. Knight h7, we have rook f7. King g6, rook b7. Yeah, white's just got a massive advantage here. Uh, rook c6, knight d4. Check. King d2, rook c4. King d3, knight g5. Rook takes b6. King F7, Rook takes B5. Yeah, the pawns have just been mopped up. We have now the pawns pawns being pushed. Check, check. Rook D1, A5. Yeah, just letting the knight go. These pawns are actually, because the knight over here, these pawns are, are just too much for black hair. We have Rook D3 check. If Rook takes D4, I can just push with A6 winning. For example, like this. A7 threatening Rook B8. If rook a8, check, and check there is winning. But if the king didn't go over there, if it went to g6, then just b6, the knight's too far away here. Even if it wins e5 to king b5, the threat of rook b8 is, is winning. Or like this, with b7, is just crashing through. So if we go back, um, yeah, rook d3, check, is played instead of taking the knight. Rook a3, knight c2. <clears throat> h3 that's taken rook takes a6 yeah the pass pawns are just winning here check a7 b5 we've got those two connected pass pawns 
uh, rook b8, rook c5, a8, queen. A very, very mysterious couple of games, actually. Was, was this move d5 underestimated for some peculiar reasons? It's a bit of a mystery. I was asking around the TSEC chess chat before doing the video. Um, yeah, there might be some pruning that happened somewhere. Not exactly sure where. I don't have access to the detailed logs, but maybe one of the stockfish developers could post one day in the comments of this video. That would be really appreciated to see. Uh, do newer versions of stockfish eventually see D5? Some sort of weird pruning happened, but you could argue it. <laughs> On this version of stockfish, for whatever reason, this this kind of virtual opening trap was overlooked. So in the opening, this d5 idea with uh, the queen sack, fascinating. So I thought I'd mention this game. I want to go through the decisive games. At the moment, uh, Stockfish, at this point in the match, there's a certain lag between me doing the videos and, and the games. Uh, Stockfish is increasing its lead. It's definitely the absolute favourite to win this season. So congratulations uh, to the Stockfish team, even though they did lose this particular game. But there's plenty of stockfish wins to cover now, actually. There's a big plus lead, more than plus five. I think it's plus six now, as of the 1st of July, 2020. But uh, in this particular game, it seems, yeah, there's an opening trap element to this, which for whatever reason, it would be fascinating maybe to find out, was overlooked by stockfish. It did seem to be a fairly clear cut without too much counterplay position for white to play here especially because black had those doubled pawns anyway uh it's you know wrecked pawn structure as well as being a pawn up so that's a, a double whammy there okay i hope you got something from this if you want to invite me for a game kingscrusher.tv or bitly slash chess world there's the two key playlists bitly slash leela chess or bitly slash stockfish chess to check out there's my suave chat form kingscrusher tv slash discord yeah Okay, thanks very much. Comments, questions, likes, subscribe with the notification bell. Always appreciated. Thanks again. Cheers then.